Hey everyone, this is Dave Pike, Motor City Mechanic. Now today we've got another video on our 2015 Ram ProMaster City. That's the smaller version of the ProMaster. Uh, it's a cargo van, of course, for those that did not know. I want to show you step by step how do you re remove and gain access to the front bulbs, the high beam, low beam, turn signals, and running lights. So go ahead and check it out. Right now I'm on the driver's side headlamp assembly. Now, when you're looking at it, you've got three plastic or rubber covers on the back side. You got one here that's the furthest inboard, the center one, and one off to the side. Now this one right here is actually your high beam bulb. The one in the middle is your low beam. Now the low beam comes on with the high beams on this vehicle, so that's the access to that. There's actually two bulbs that you'll access right here on the far outboard. So all you gotta do is just pull the cap off, sit to the side. Now, if you want to get a little better access to this, you can reposition the washer bottle filler neck slightly to give you a little bit. And you can get the cover off that and you can get the cover off the last one as well. Now, these two are the same size. One over here is larger. So now you can get to the bulbs. For example, if I want to get to the high beam, I get up in here. I'm going to rotate the bulb. I'm just going to pull out, get it out, and then I can worry about unplugging it. So that's our high beam bulb right there. And like I said, try not to touch the bulb no more you need to because oil in your hands can cause it to burn out prematurely. So when you're going back, all you're going to do is plug it in and then try to guide it up in the hole as best you can. And then you're just going to rotate it. Now on this one, I had to rotate clockwise to get it out. I'm going to go back in, I'm going to put it in and rotate counterclockwise to lock it in place. So there you go. When I say clockwise, I had to go this way to get it out, go back in, rotate that way. Now the low beam is going to be exactly the same. Now the bulbs on the far end, and we'll work on getting that out. Now they're just going to rotate as well. And you'll pull it up and there you go. You've got that one there and you got one more right below it. So all of these are accessible from under the hood. You just gotta get the rubber covers off the end zone. Like I said, furthest inboard towards the radiator is gonna be your high beam. Center one's gonna be your low beam, which comes on with the high beams as well. And over here, you've got your parking light and your turn signal bulbs. And that's how you access each one of those. Now to go back, just put them in, rotate them just like I said. And then you just gotta put your rubber covers back on. So they did give you good access. Now this is the driver's side. The only obstacle in your way is the washer bottle, which really isn't that much in your way. It just it is maneuverable. And the other side you get the air filter or lid, which really doesn't hinder you as well. And if you had to, you could take the air filter lid off to get to it. I thought I'd go ahead and give you a little heads up too on the the passenger side. Like I said, I showed you the driver. Here's the passenger side. They panned back or zoomed out a little bit so you can actually see a little bit better. Like I said, you've got your rubber plugs here and here and the air filter lid. If you want to get that out of your way, that's fine. Otherwise, it's pretty cut and dry to get to. So this is what it looks like backed off a bit. All right, so here we go. Replacing the bulbs on the front. Nothing difficult whatsoever. You can get to all of them from under the hood, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's nothing really too much in the way. Just make sure you pull the rubber boots off and then you can get to them. Now, you do got to reach up in there the best you can to get to the bulbs to rotate them. Take your time, a little bit of patience, not a problem. So in the meantime, any kind of thumbs up on YouTube, you can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And if you scroll to the bottom of the screen in the description, there's actually links to both of those. In the meantime, thanks for watching.